So a while back, a guy named Joe emailed me and asked me if I'm interested in uh, having a look at a CNC pendant. And I thought to myself, oh, that's, that's nice. Someone's gonna send me some CNC jewelry. It turns out a CNC pendant is not jewelry. It's the tool I never thought I actually needed so badly on my CNC. So let's talk about it. Stick around. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. More on that later. This is my Uzness Word BCNC, and it's by far one of my most used tools in here, especially now with the Etsy shop and the coasters, and it's constantly running. Now, one of the great things about the Word BCNC is that it's based on riprap firmware. In fact, it runs on a Duet Wi Fi, and that is great for a multitude of reasons. One of them, the Duet Wi Fi is extremely powerful, it has a great interface, as you can see there on my, uh, on my laptop, but that comes with a set of its own challenges, let's call them. Now the Duet interface is absolutely spot on. It's great. You have all the commands you need. Uh, you have the probing instructions. You can put macros in there as well. However, sometimes it can be a bit challenging because you need to work with either your laptop or a mobile and at the same time, see what you're doing. And it's not the first time I'm trying to home or move the axis while looking at the spindle and also trying to make sure that I press the right button here and sometimes I, my finger moves and I press on the Y rather than the X and it moves differently. It happens more often than you think and it can be a bit frustrating. And that's where the pendant comes in. The pendant is pretty much like a remote control. For, uh, for your CNC. Now, there are many options available online for standard CNCs, but not for riprap. This, part, this one in particular is specifically made to work with the Usnest WorkB CNC. Once you plug it in, the screen lights up and you have this dial jug here. Let, listen to that sound. Now, all this thing has are two buttons and a dial but that's more than enough to get you through probably about 95% of what you would usually do on a CNC. The main screen will show X, Y, and Z, fine, medium, or coarse. These are basically um, the movements you want on your CNC. So if I want to move X, I leave it on X. I want it to move fast, and then I just turn this, and the increments will be determined by the software you install and predetermine yourself. And apart from that, you also have macros, which you can choose. And that's absolutely great because you can set macros like to home, to probe, to, um, to set your working home coordinates. So I'm gonna do today is install this, set it up, and test it out. Now the pendant comes with a very comprehensive guide on how to set it up. It also has its own CNC, well, CNC pendant software to, um, to calibrate it and also to set up your own macros. So the first thing you need to do is add the CNC address or the riprap or the do it address. Post present. Okay. Enter a command in the do it console here to start the telnet service. So Telnet is enabled. You can set this up on the config um, files in the system in order to enable it upon startup. But now that that's done, the IP address is listed here. Now what I need to do is define the step sizes. So we have X, Y, and Z, and we can define whether it's fine, medium, or coarse, and we can set that up to our liking. So we can set fine at 0.05, probably set it at one. Z, we'll do it 0.05. So the X, 0.1. Medium, we'll set it to one millimeter. On the Z, we'll set it to 0.1. On the course, we'll set it to five millimeters on the X and Y. And on the Z, we'll set it to one millimeter. Click OK. Now this is the awesome part for me. I don't even have to look at the laptop or even here because I know that it's on X and if I want to do medium and I can just look at where it's going. I want to change to Y direction. Set it to course. Set it back to X. 
If I want finer adjustment, set it to fine. It's just brilliant. And that's not all, of course. You also have the macros. If you hold the left button down, you can actually see macros. You can up to put up to 20, I believe. Yes, you can put up to 20 macros. And you choose the one you want. And you just execute. I still have to set these up, so I'm going to try a few. The beauty about the system is the ease in which you can install the macros or update the macros. If you go on the pendant software, and you go on macros here. You can choose the first one. Let's do home all. So we have a homing sequence on the macros. And you go on the list and it is updated with all the files, the system files of the um, riprap board, the, the do it Wi-Fi. And one of those is called home all, which is right here. If you click on that and click on update, then click OK. You'll see if I hold the left button now, there's the first macro, home all. And if I press it, so now we already have one last step, which I need to do on the laptop. I don't have to keep it on the side here, right next to the CNC. I don't have to stay making sure that I'm pressing the right button. I can just fiddle around with that. All that's left for me to do now is just update the rest of the macros that I tend to use, which is set X, set Y, set Z, the probing sequence, uh, the homing of the job that I'm doing. And that's basically it, possibly a pause as well. And while I test out the functions, we can talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands and thousands of classes for anything that you'd be interested in learning, whether it's arts, crafts, CAD design, 3D printing, Fusion 360, Arduino, and many more, just to name a few. I'm currently going back to refreshing my Arduino knowledge for a few projects I plan on doing on the channel, which is always challenging, but a lot of fun and so rewarding. Having everything organized in one place with a great learning flow that helps you understand and learn is no comparison to spending endless hours of searching online to find what you're looking for. Now the classes can be as short or as long as you want them to be, as Skillshare will save your progress so you can learn at your own pace. Now the monthly subscription to Skillshare costs less than $10 a month, however, the first 1,000 of my subscriber to click on the link in the video description will get a free trial of premium membership so you too can explore your creativity. Thank you, Skillshare. That is absolutely brilliant. As you can see, I didn't even have to look at my laptop or the screen, anything. You just position it. I can actually do it even better with this because I'm looking at what I'm doing um, and then just probe it. Perfect. It does have a couple of limitations though. So the only issue, um, I'm gonna call it an issue, limitation. The only limitation that this pendant has is that it cannot, if you have any macros or commands which have an echo, so require a G or an M command that you know needs an echo, needs a response from the user, it will not work because this cannot interact or receive information from the work being it can only send information. So any of those uh, commands need either to be commented out or just avoid them altogether. But other than that, 90, 95% of what I need is just here and I don't need to use that anymore. Well, not anymore, but you know, most, most of the part. I also don't need to keep my laptop sitting on my orbital sender anymore. I can just throw it on the desk because there's more than enough USB cable to go around this machine twice over. And this is the big kahuna. This is the 1.5 by 1.5 meter. So when Joe contacted me, I asked him if he has a website and unfortunately they don't have it just yet. This is just an independent um, maker that does these. These are uh, made to order. So if you wanna know more about this, get in touch with Joe. Uh, I will leave his email in the video description. It's an awesome little bit of kit which will make your life so much easier. I honestly had no idea this existed. I kind of knew that CNCs have, you know, like um, uh, kind of like a console, but I always figured like those are the more expensive ones. And then I started researching and it turns out like this, this is pretty much the only one that 
can work with the CNC, uh, with the WorkBee CNC, because it's based on the RipRap firmware. And the fact that it works with the RipRap firmware actually makes it much easier because, you know, of all the macros and awesome things you can modify yourself. Price-wise, I believe it's around 120 pounds, which personally speaking, if you're working on production stuff like I do, it's definitely worth the cost. Uh, for a hobbyist, I probably might not want to spend that much, but then again, if you have a riprap CNC, this can make your life so much easier, unless of course you can make one yourself. As for me, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. And thank you to my awesome YouTube members and patrons for supporting me and allowing me to do what I absolutely love. For those of you who are still here, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming like two, three times a week. I'm also painting there. There's also Breaks and Make Live channel uh, where I do the Twitch reruns over there. So yeah, um, join me. It, it, tends to get quite interesting there and I tend to um, mess up quite a lot. Thank you once again for watching. I'm gonna go get back to work. As always, happy making guys.